Hello everyone, it's Charlton and uh, Purple Holiday, thank you for the heads up. I had seen this uh, a little bit, and uh, but I missed <laughs> a lot of it. it. It's so strange, I just don't know what to make of it. It is, it is a very unusual story, man, big time. So here is, it's about this person here, Kellen Winslow Jr. As soon as I saw that name, I'm like, that name sounds familiar. He's a, a former NFL player, uh, played for 10 years, fairly recently. He was drafted in 2004. First round draft pick, sixth, sixth in the round, you know, to the Cleveland Browns tight end. His father was a Hall of Famer for, for, um, for San Diego. I remember him, you know, he was a receiver for Dan Fouts back when they had an awesome passing game, you know, and they used to get into the playoffs routinely. I remember them playing against the Dolphins. It's right around when the Bengals went to the Super Bowl the first time with Kenny Anderson, you know, and I lived in Cincinnati back then when I was, you know, you know, 10 years old, something like that. Anyways, so this began on June 7th. He was arrested for and charged with burglary. And at the time, it was reported sort of just as where his publicist and his attorney put out a statement saying it's just a big misunderstanding. And that, um, you know, it was just very strange. And he posted bail. It was $50,000 bail. There was some video of that, actually. And I'll play some of that just... Uh, uh, gives you some frame of reference, but since then, I'll, let me before I play the video. Since then, since June seventh, he's been rearrested and charged with nine counts of various charges, very serious stuff, where he could literally face life in prison if he's convicted. And I think it's eight count, eight felony counts, one misdemeanor account. And the victims range in age from 54 years old up to 86 years old. And in fact, the incident on June 7th was an 86 year old woman in a mobile home park of a retirement like community. So, and the, the charges in the complaint include kidnap, rape, and forced oral copulation of a 54 year old woman in March. Kidnap, rape, and sodomy of a 59-year-old woman in May. Indecent exposure in May. The victim, the victim was 55-year-old woman. Burglary with the intent to rape a 71-year-old woman in June, and a burglary with the intent to rape an 86-year-old woman in June. That's the most recent one. That's the June 7th incident. Where, um, you know, here's. Let me show you the video of him after he posts bail, and then I'll go over that incident and then try to go back to the entire complaint. Because after he posted bail, they kept him under surveillance to just kind of make a long story short, and then rearrested him. He was supposed to be on court on Thursday, but rearrested him before he went to court. And then he was uh, back in, with all these charges. He was in court yesterday, Friday, and wasn't allowed to post bail. And now he's still in jail, you know, I guess until he goes to trial for all these charges. So here's here he is posting bail back on June seventh. Hey, yeah. All right, take it easy, man. All right, man. Okay, so at that stage, you know, um, when this is reported June 8th, in fact, that's probably June 8th when he's being let, let out of jail, you know, it was just being uh, seen as a big misunderstanding or just something that was very odd. 
um, as I kind of in, uh, interpret it. And the statement put uh, out, released by his attorney, um, Friday, back then, you know, the Friday of last week, was, you know, Mr. Winslow emphatically denies committing any burglary. He knew he would have no need to burglarize or steal anything from anyone at a trailer park. He looks forward to being vindicated once this uh, matter is fully investigated and adju oh my goodness, ad adjudicated through the court system. And you know what? Here's the charge because uh, it's, it's, and I don't know, I mean, initially I was like, something's just way off here, dude. So, Winslow 34 was arrested on 2.30 p.m., uh, just after 2.30 p.m., after deputies responded to reports of a possible burglary in Park Encinitas. Authorities said the senior community is located east of Interstate 5. Uh, the person who reported the burglary tried confronting the man, later identified as Winslow, because the person did not recognize him when, when confronted, the person said, Winslow said he was looking for a red dog named Clifford. You know, and I'm like thinking, is that like the book? Like the dog, Clifford, the red dog? I mean, and that's from my youth too. It's so strange. And uh, in this statement here, and actually in this Twitter feed, that's like this, the, this reporter says the neighbor said that. You know, he took a picture of him and he's, he came out of the... Uh, the mobile home, shirtless, the guy said, you know, who are you or something like that. And he got in this, this SUV before he took off and he had said, I'm looking for my dog. It's red named Clifford neighbor who confronted former NFL uh, star Kellen Winslow Jr. Before arrest took this pic of his Hummer as he was inside an elderly couple's mobile home says Winslow wasn't wearing a shirt and commented, I'm looking for my dog. It's red name is Clifford. Okay. And they actually, um, in the statement, his publicist addresses that and says he was just being a, a sarcastic and I'm uh, being a smart aleck and that he, but he actually has a red dog named Clifford. I mean, I, that's, it literally says that, you know, says, and this is the publicist. Okay. So on Saturday, Winslow's publicist, Denise White said, sent a statement to NBC seven. The incident was a misunderstanding. The former NFL player dropped by Mobile Home Park to look at homes for his mother-in-law before heading to the gym, White said. An overreactive neighbor called police after she saw Kellen walking around a mobile home. She said in a statement, he was sarcastic when answering her questions about what he was doing there. He said he was looking for his red dog, Clifford. He actually has a red dog named Clifford. However, this... That's not why he was there. So they were claiming he was there looking for homes for his mother-in-law, you know, shopping, I guess, for homes for his mother-in-law. Again, this is all before these other charges came down, you know, a week, fast forward a week later to right now. And that's where we are with this. And I'll try to cruise through it without going over every detail. Because then there is, there is detail to this. I mean, they... they in the complaint, they go through some of the specifics of the, uh, you know, of the alleged um, incidents. Okay, so Winslow appeared in Superior Court for arraignment on eight felony counts and one misdemeanor. He faces life in prison if convicted. The female victims in the complaint range from 54 to 86. The first two alleged victims said they were raped after getting into a vehicle. The third had been gardening when a man exposed himself. In the, in the case of the last two victims, the prosecutor said a man had entered their mobile homes. And again, I already went through all this, and all the alleged crimes happened in Encinitas. I believe that's uh, you know, in, in the area of San Diego, I believe. I'm not positive of that. Okay, so the, to review some of the charges, kidnap, rape, and forced oral copulation, kidnap, rape, and sodomy of a 59-year-old woman, indecent exposure in May of a 55-year-old one, woman, burglary with the intent of rape, 71-year-old woman, burglary with the intent of rape, 86-year-old one, and that's the most recent one. That's the one in June 7th that got this all kind of started. And when... Uh, when he posted bail, they they kept him under surveillance as they um, investigated all these other claims. 
That's his father, who was in court on Friday, along with his wife, um, Winslow Jr.'s wife, you know, supporting uh, his son and her husband. So, it says here that uh, about the two, the first two rape charges, where I think he picked up hitchhikers, is how uh, those, the two, the incidents linked to both rape charges share certain similarities in the, in each instance, a woman got into a vehicle and was driven to an isolated spot where she was attacked. The first victim, who had been hitchhiking when she got into the vehicle, reported that the assailant told her if she screamed, he would murder her, Owen said, of, uh, of the March 17th attack. Owens is the district attorney or the deputy, deputy district attorney or the prosecutor. The prosecutor said the assailant had threatened to kill the second rape victim when she was attacked on May 3rd. On May 24th, a 55-year-old woman was gardening when a man approached and commented on the flowers she was pruning. They spoke, and she turned to walk away, but she, she suspected the man was following her. She turned around and saw him two feet behind her with his erect penis exposed, Owen said. She ran inside and called authorities with her husband, the incident, uh, is charged as as a misdemeanor in decent exposure. So that's the one misdemeanor. The other eight counts are felony. On June first, a seventy one year old woman found a man in her mobile home and confronted him, initially afraid of why he was there. Owen said the man told the woman he was looking for a particular unit, the same number as hers, and she told him to try another park in the area. He left. The final charge relates to that's a burglary. Okay, charge, I believe. You know, the final charge relates to the incident on June 7th when a neighbor saw and confronted a man who had gone into the home of 86-year-old woman who was asleep. The last two charges are burglary with the intent to commit a sex offense. Under California law, burglary doesn't, does not necessarily mean something was taken. It can be charged if a person entered a building with the intent to commit a crime. And there he is in court on Friday, and he no longer has the option to post bail, as I understand it. There was a previous incident, too, from uh, from 2013, I think, in Jersey. And it says, in, uh, also in court, Owens referenced a November 2013 incident in New Jersey involving Winslow Jr. Uh, in that matter, according to NJ.com, a police report posted on the website. A 58-year-old woman called police to report seeing a man in a Cadillac Escalade masturbating in a Target parking lot. Police found Winslow Jr. in the, uh, or Winslow II, in the vehicle. There were two open jars of Vaseline, but he was not exposing himself. No charges related to masturbation were, f were filed, but he was arrested for possession of synthetic marijuana. And uh, apparently Owens, the prosecutor, brought that up in court today. Very, uh, it just, uh, it's it's hard to kind of understand why. You know, I think that's what any, um, uh, most people would be asking themselves. That's what I'm asking myself. Why? Why? You know? And actually, that's why the first explanation before all these other charges came from the attorney, you know, saying emphatically denies committing any burglary any burglary, you know, he would have no need to burglarize or steal anything from anyone at a trailer park. You know, again, it's just like, why? It's so strange. Unusual. And these things are all just alleged at this point. That's the story there, man. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. Thanks, Purple Holiday. Appreciate the heads up. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.